Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am Richard and as you can see by the graphics, uh, this is a continuation of uh, my commemoration of Sumerian September 2024. And uh, I decided to go with Nemedian Chronicles for today, September 2nd. Uh, and the reason being is, as I was preparing uh, to see what the next story in the you know in the list was going i was about to do the phoenix on the sword uh and as i was looking at it uh it begins at the very first paragraph of the story is the nemedian chronicles and so i decided you know what i should really do the nemedian chronicles first and then i will do the phoenix on the sword tomorrow um the other advantage to doing that is that uh I do have this book on audio. I am working tomorrow. I'm returning to work after the summer break. And so um, I will have a commute. And during that commute, I can certainly listen to the uh, Phoenix on the Sword and then come back with tomorrow's video, <coughs> excuse me, for September 3rd, which will be the Phoenix on the Sword. Um, the other thing I think is really important to remember is that uh, the Nemedy and Chronicles is, is often placed at the beginning of the first story of any Robert E. Howard, uh, Conan, the Sumerian uh, anthology books or, you know, and certainly with these as well. So I think it's important to launch this uh, series of videos with the Nemedy and Chronicles, uh, you know, as a almost a first installment. The other reason why I think it's important is because this is something that when, when people hear this, they often hear the voice of Mako, the actor, uh, speaking this through. And it, and it, it just every movie begins with this. And virtually every video game begins with uh, the Nemedian Chronicles as well. And so, uh, and so that's another thing. I mean, it's just a, it's just something that to make sense to hear or read when you're starting to delve into uh, Robert E. Howard's works around Conan the Sumerian. So without further ado, let me jump right into this and uh, hopefully it goes well. So know, O oh Prince, that between the years when the oceans drank Atlantis and the gleaming cities and the years of the rise of the sons of Arias, there was an age undreamed of when shining kingdoms lay spread across the world like blue mantles beneath the stars. Nemedia, Ophir, Berthunia, Hyboria, Zamora, with its dark-haired women and towers of spider-haunted mystery. Zingara, with its chivalry. Koth, that bordered on the pastoral lands of Shem. Stygia, with its shadow-guarded tombs, Hyrcania, whose riders wore steel and silk and gold. But the proudest kingdom of the world was Aquilonia, reigning supreme in the dreaming west, Robert E. Howard. What is so important about the Nemedian Chronicles is that it sets the tone for the story you're about to read or watch or or play through it sets a tone of the you know of mystery of grandeur of opulence and of darkness simultaneous all at one time it's it's both high civilization and barbaric savagery all kind of rolled into one and it, it, it's just an incredible piece, uh, something that it draws you right into the Hyborian age, you know, through your imagination, and, and you can literally see these things. Um, you get that feel for what the world is going to be like uh, through the adventures of Conan the Sumerian. So um, it's an absolute phenomenal piece for such a short piece and for it to have such a an openness you know in the 
you know, in Robert E. Howard's vision for the Hyborian Age is just incredible. So I really hope you, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I really hope you enjoy uh, these videos. I'm going to continue this series all throughout the uh, month of September. Uh, so please remember to subscribe and, uh, and hit the alert button in particular. That way you'll, you'll see when these do drop. Uh, I, I am planning on dropping one every single day. Uh, might be different times of the day, uh, although I'm hoping to get it to where they're dropping at the same time. Um, and that way uh, you'll kind of know, you know, hey, it's at 8 a.m. this new Sumerian September video is going to drop on Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review Channel. Uh, so that's what I'm hoping to do at some point so you can have some predictability uh, for it. But for the next couple of days, I'm just returning to work after the summer break. And, um, you know, and we will see, uh, we'll see how true I can stay to that plan. You know, as we all know, you know, plans are, plans are sometimes just something that are like to haves and not uh, so much, uh, you know, this will be done this way. So um, hopefully I can stick to it. As always, thank you for joining. Uh, enjoy the rest of your, your holiday weekend if you are in fact celebrating Labor Day today. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on a gaming screen or at a convention sometime soon. In about three weeks, I will be at ShireCon and uh, you know, really looking forward to that. And then moving forward, then I have about three months to start really mentally preparing myself for um, the Philadelphia Area Game Expo. And then after that, um, and just three months after that, I'll be planning on uh, Rising Phoenix. And then uh, April, May, June, two months after that, AutoCon. And then I go back into my, you know, uh, regular cycle again. Uh, so like a reset. Uh, so I always look at uh, the, first, uh, the first event of the year, for me at least, is in September with, uh, with Shire Khan. Uh, so as always, thanks for joining. Have a great day and uh, celebrate the rest of Labor Day uh, with a nice relaxing day. Watch some videos if you can. Do some reading, read some Conan the Sumerian uh, in whatever form that you can, uh, you can get a hold of it. And uh, as always, thanks a lot for stopping in. Take care.